Hello chess lovers, Soren here and I have a very fascinating game for you played by an American chess player Paul Morphy. His opponent is Jay Carr and this game was played during an 8 board blindfold simultaneous exhibition which Morphy gave at Queens College in Birmingham in 1858. Now let's see what happened on the board. Morphy started with e4 and h6 by j Carr. Imagine Morphy's reaction after h6. d4 was played and this time another crazy move by black a5. Bishop d3 and b6. I guess after learning about his opponent's first moves Morphy laughed heartily. Knight e2 was played. e6, white castles kingside and bishop a6. Finally, Black is moving one of his pieces. Actually, this series of unusual moves was no doubt adopted with a view of embarrassing the blindfold player. Morphy played c4, knight f6 and e5. Knight h7, of course, a very passive square for the knight and this time f4. Bishop e7, knight g3, d5 and queen g4, the queen is coming after the pawn on g7 and a terrible move by black castling kingside. It was better to play g6, move another pawn but this time castling kingside was played and after knight h5 black is already facing serious problems. Now g6 can't be played because of this bishop takes g5 sacrifice and black of course can't even recapture because can get checkmated. That's why after knight h5 g5 was played, f takes g5, white also managed to open up the f file for the rook, h takes g5 and bishop takes h7 check. Morph is removing the defender but instead of capturing on h7 actually knight f6 check is winning even faster if bishop takes f6 then queen h5. If rook e8 then queen takes h7 and then rook takes f6, this is just a total destruction, soon black king will get checkmated. But in the game we see bishop takes h7, king h8, but let's have a look what if king takes h7, then this time white can play knight f6 and then queen h5 check and e takes f6 and the game is over. Let's go back, after bishop takes h7, king h8 was played, now comes knight f6, D takes c4, bishop c2, white is opening up the h file and already there is a mating threat. Queen takes d4 check was played, black is trying to prolong his resistance, bishop c5, but now black is losing another piece, bishop takes g5, knight c6, right now if we have a look at the position, white is two pieces up and also this king is in danger, but still black is making moves, is not resigning, right now the threat is rook h3 check followed by rook h7 checkmate, king g7 was played and in this position, believe it or not, but Morphy found the shortest possible way of checkmating black king, let's not forget that this was a blindfold simul, Please pause the video and try to find Morphy's next moves. Ready? Actually there is a mate in 6 and Morphy went for it. He played bishop h6 check, king takes h6, rook h3 check, king g5, rook h5 check, king f4 and king f2. Both kings are meeting on f file and already this g3 is the mating threat. Rook g8 was played but anyways here comes g3 and after rook takes g3, h takes g3 we see a brutal checkmate on the board. A very impressive game I think played during a blindfold simul. During this 8 board simul Morphy won 6 games, lost 1 and drew 1 game. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you and for more games don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video.